Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Craig with Linda. So I'm just coming on guys because I'm just doing some dishes and I just wanted to come on and chat with you guys while I do some dishes. Um, it is Thursday at around 11.55 and uh, just getting a late start. I've been sitting on the chair all morning watching television, watching Dateline and just hanging out. Finally I said, you know, I got to get up. I'm not even dressed and they're like, my dom is still, so you're not really going to see me too much right this minute. But, um, um my job is really cute, though, but I'll have to show you. Um, so I'm just going to do some dishes, and then I have to get moving on, um, getting, trying to get some stuff done. I want to make my cucumber water. I wanted to do that yesterday, but I just completely petered out. So, um, and I want to go outside and start filling my... Uh, pots for my plants because I got to get them moving too. Um, let me get those going. So um, I'm just going to finish washing this pan and I'm going to make Jenny's lunch. She's having a chicken salad and I have um, the chicken the Aldi, that red bag chicken. I had I have it cooked it in the toaster oven. So um, she's having a salad. So that's what we're doing today. Gonna hang out, do some straightening up, and um, stuff like that. Toaster oven. All right, guys. So I just took the chicken out. Um, let me dry this thing off because I was cutting tomatoes on it. I don't want it to be kind of watery. So take this. This chicken is so good, guys. From Aldi, I'm telling you. We used it all. This is the last of the three bags. We used it one night for dinner for um, chicken sandwiches. And then my son actually used it for one night for chicken sandwiches. When he would have something he didn't want, he had this for chicken sandwiches. It's just delicious. And I'm telling you, you can't really find it. When you find it there, you gotta buy two or three bags because for some reason it's in and then it's out for three weeks. You can't get it or a month. So, you know, you gotta grab it when you can. It's just delicious. It's tender, it's crunchy. I mean, look how tender that is, look at that. It just cuts right through. So good. Love it, I mean, it's not cheap. Of course, it's $7.99 a bag, and I know that they've made the bag smaller because the bags definitely look smaller than they were, so. I'm gonna let this cool off a minute and then I'm gonna put it on her salad and then put her dressing on for her. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm in my PJs. It says sleepy on it. Cute, right? I wasn't gonna show you, but I'm just gonna get this done and then I'm gonna go up and get dressed. Told you, very slow moving today. I'm gonna go up and get dressed and then um, get outside and do some of that planting. But I want to start my my water. Um, so I'm gonna start with this. I'm wondering if, how I should do this. Yeah, this is cucumber, so good cucumber. I'll take the plastic off of this. You gotta use good, fresh English cucumbers because you really need the water to be, um, the water to be really flavorful. I actually um, have mint in my garden outside, in my in my planter outside. Um, there was mint in there from years ago, and I just noticed yesterday that there's some in there plant, it, replanted. 
you know, it came up again. So um, I'm gonna go and go over there in a minute and get the mint. Cause you definitely need mint for this. Okay, I'm gonna use that one. I'm definitely gonna do this whole cucumber because I want it to be nice and cucumbery. Oops. So guys, it is Thursday and it's around noon, about 12 after 12. And like I said, getting got a slow start today. So, I'm going to put all this cucumber in it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that masher, you know, that mashing thing that they use for, like, that you use for our meats and, like, to mash, like, stuff up with. And I'm going to mash it. So, you know, muddle it a little bit. Some lime. Not going to put too much lime in. I only want a hint of lime. I don't want that much lime. But I want to get, mm, love the smell of lime. This so the weather's like, I think it's going to be like 60, 70 today. It's not going to be really, it's got, a, there's like a breeze out there here in upstate New York. It's nice. It's not hot. Today's not going to be humid at all. They said, I think in a couple of days, it's going to be humid again. But as of right now, it's not. So, all right, let's see. I like them thin because I like them to go in my glass, too. Woo! Mm. Love it. Last my finger up, but I want to get all of the, the line. And I think what I'm going to do is just cut the end off here. And stick that in there. All right, so that's one line. I'm going to do lemon. This lemon is nice and juicy. Juicy lemon. Lemon brings me so back to my childhood. I'll tell you why I told you guys a story when we lived in Florida. We had a um, our neighbor, a blind man, lived next door to us, and he was blind. He was blind, and he had a lemon tree. I told you guys this story. Me and my friend Ginger would go over and grab some lemons. And finally he said one day, don't ask me how he knew. I don't know how he said that we were in his yard. But he said, um, you'd like to come over and pick lemons. And that's, so that's what we did. And when, I, when I smell them, it just brings, brings it all back. All right. I want some of the juice too, so I'm trying to get it all. I didn't have that making a big mess, but I did make a big mess, guys. But that's little for you. Making big messes. Making big messes. Let's try to dry this a little bit here. Um, I have orange and I have apple. 
this is a really huge arm, so I don't think I'm going to put the whole thing in. I purposely bought a big one so I can use it. You know, use a lot of it. smell and everything because I just love it. That other half I'm going to put in a Ziploc bag. I'm not even going to use it because I don't think I need it. I really don't think I need it. This water I noticed too is like so refreshing it kind of brings back a, a kind of not so great so not a great not such a great memory um my father when he was in hospice um they had like um in their lobby they had like cucumber water and you know a big like thing of it like you can you know just take it yourself um and i just remember when it just brings back memories of being you know me being there it wasn't a fun time, guys, at all. But <sighs> something I had to go through. I'm not going to put that much apple in it. Okay, so what I got to do now is I got to go outside and get the mint. Because when I muddle this, I want the mint to be in there. That's all garbage. Let me go to that. All right, guys. So I went out and got the mint. Look at all this mint I got out of there. And I think there's more, too. I didn't get it. I didn't take it all, but I rinsed it off. I rinsed it all off. Broke it all up, basically. And I'm going to put it in the, in the container. And then I'm going to use that little thingy, the crusher, to muddle it with all the fruit, with all this, the veggies and stuff. And then I'm going to put more ice in it and water in it. And, I mean, I assume the longer it sits, the better it is. Because, um, you know, the longer it has to get all the flavors in there. Okay, so this is the rest of it here. It smells so good, guys. Mint is so yummy. All right, so... Thank you. So I'm going to take this crusher thing and just muddle it. All the flavors come out. Let's see if I can mix it a little bit. Maybe this nice bit. And there is a top to this thing. Of course, where this was, I can't find the top. I hope I can find it otherwise. It's going in the refrigerator like this because, you know, it's there somewhere. I just have to find it. All right, so I'm going to mix this up a little bit. And then smush it in. Just to... All right, guys, I think that's good. Mmm. Oh, if I could tell you how this smells, it smells amazing. Amazing. Oh, I have strawberries too. 
Let me get a couple of strawberries. Okay. Yeah. Second. I just got two strawberries because you know, strawberries are a little high in sugar and I don't want an enormous amount of them, but I do want some. So I'm just going to cut these in pretty small pieces. And then let's put these in there. And then I'm going to put water and ice in here. Wiggle the strawberries a little bit. Okay. Now, guys, when you make this, do whatever, put, out, put whatever fruits and you know, veggies or whatever that you want to put in. You can put in whatever you want. Yeah, it's up to you. So, there we go. Let's put some water in it. I'm not going to use spring water. I'm going to use complete sink water, tap water. It'll be fine. Um, let me get an ice tray. There's an ice bucket. I'm going to empty right now. I gotta fill it. It needs a lot of ice because it needs to be cold. But yeah. fill that. I'm going to fill it just about to the spatter part. That right there. Okay. So, I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator. I'm going to actually put a little bit more water in it. I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator for a while and let it get nice and all the flavors meddled together. Okay, guys. So, I just wanted to tell you guys, this is so amazing. I bought, I kept this big cup that my daughter got from Starbucks, like the little one that I have for my other coffee. And, um, what do you got? What do you have now? And guys, I poured it in here. It's so good. The trick with this too, it has to be so, so cold. It is so refreshing. I'm telling you guys. Get down. Get down. No, get down. Get down. He is so bad. Sorry guys, he is just so bad. Um, so yeah, the drink is amazing. Um, I had lunch, I had a little piece, about two ounces of London broil left over that I had from last night, and I had some broccoli, and then I had, um, a couple slices of turkey, I'm very hungry today, and, um, I'm having a string cheese now, but, uh, very little points in all of that, so, I'm doing good, guys, I'm doing good. But today, some days I'm hungry than other days. Today I'm hungry. Hungrier than yesterday. So, I don't know what that means. But, who knows? Mm -hmm. Haven't gotten outside yet. I haven't done much yet. Really at all today yet. All right, guys. So, um, 
I'm just gonna make meatloaf now, guys. This is what's for dinner tonight, meatloaf. So I have, I have, I had a package of um, meatloaf mix that I had in here from last week that I didn't use, and I had about three, almost three pounds of regular chuck that I put in here too. So I'm gonna make a nice big meatloaf because we always like leftovers, and frankly, when we make it, sometimes it's just not enough because everybody loves it. So I'm gonna put two eggs in, okay. Two eggs. I'm just throwing the shells in there. It's around four o'clock. Um, I had to go and meet Bill at the place to pick up his truck because his glass, his windshield got fixed. Some salt, some pepper. So I'm gonna get this in the oven. We wanna eat by like 5.15. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Quick, right? Yeah. Oh, did you hear who died? Yeah, guys, I heard Ray Liotta died. Oh my God, I loved him. He was so great. Okay, Italian seasoning. What? He was walking over something and he blew the melody back. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Cooper, you gotta be careful. Oh my God, Cooper. He runs, he runs like a lunatic and he fell. This is what worries me about him. All right, um, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, a little salt, pepper, um, grated cheese. And I'm gonna put a little bit of breadcrumbs in, not a lot because it's carb. So put more um, grated cheese in. That's why I only put a little salt in, guys, because I put a lot of grated cheese in to, um, to uh, you know, so I don't have to put so many breadcrumbs in. Okay. Um, right. Now I'm going to put water. Oh, you know what I forgot? Parsley. Oh boy, it's it's smoking. I um. I got the plastic off of the oven. Remember you guys, I had that, the bowel going here with the plastic. It came right off. Oh, but you know what? There's some on the rack, I think. Let me see. Yeah, there's some on the rack. Oh, shoot. Well, I'll just leave that here. Is it on this rack too? Yeah, it's on both of the racks. Where am I going to make my meatloaf? I guess I should have taken, taken care of this beforehand, huh? Oh, boy. I'm going to have to think this one over. All right, guys, so... <laughs> we had a... First of all, this came off of the oven. Look, there it is. Okay, so it did come off. We had to scrape off, or Bill scraped it off, off of the, um, the racks. They were on both of the, it was on both of the racks. So Bill was able to get 99.9% .9 of it off of one of the racks so I can at least put the um, meal off in. Otherwise, I was gonna see if I could make it in the barbecue because I want meatloaf tonight. So anyway, the oven's ready. Just heating it up and the meatloaf, while he was doing that, the meat, I mixed the meatloaf up. So it's all done. I put water, put all the seasonings in it, eggs, grated cheese, garlic powder, onion, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, basil. Um, what is this? Oh, Italian part, Italian um, seasoning. So now it's all ready. I'm gonna load it into the pan. It comes out like a big dome. So you see, guys. And then I just, I just um, form it into a loaf. I don't like making it in those loaf pans because I feel like it like gets tight. My mom always made it like this. It was always big and flat and, you know, all over the pan. And that's just the way she did it. So that's the way I do it. So just, you know, mold it into a loaf, how big you want it or whatever. 
And like I said, I made a big one because we love this song on sandwiches and leftover. And since, you know, we have a long weekend, we'll probably have some lunches. So it's going to be yummy. So I'm going to put it in the oven. It's going to cook about probably about 45, 50 minutes on 375. And I'll come back on. I'm going to make mashed potatoes with gravy and corn. With meatloaf, you usually always have mashed potatoes. Brave, brown gravy and corn. I love corn with the loaf and mashed potatoes. All right. Nice, guys. There we go. Hey, guys. So here is my plate. The meatloaf is done. It came out amazing. Corn, a sweet potato. They're having mashed potatoes. Not me. I want them so bad, but I'm not having them. No. I have to get to the store and get the bird's eye um, a cauliflower mash. I keep forgetting. I got to remember write that on my list but anyway this is what's for dinner tonight guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time i upload the share the like subscribe all of that guys and don't forget to comment down below because i love when you guys comment and that's it guys so we'll see you on the next video bye guys